Welcome to BSD CAN 2022, and we're not in Ottawa. That's unfortunate, but there's so much stuff going on, both in the world and with a lot of us personally, that it was decided to go online again this year. Sorry, hopefully 2023 will be in person. Speaking of which, I learned yesterday that the Royal Oak on Laurier has closed. It closed about six months into the pandemic. Not all of the Royal Oaks have closed, just the one on, on campus or just off campus has closed. Perhaps someone can find another pub that's fairly close to campus that we can start frequenting instead, perhaps without going all the way down to the market. But if we have to go down to the market, we will. Not that there's anything wrong with the market. Sponsors. If you look at the website, we have just one sponsor. That is not due to lack of offers. That is due to lack of time on my behalf. I recommend not buying a house six months before the conference and then having to move in the week before the conference. It's been unfortunate that I haven't had the proper time to follow up with sponsors and follow through on the things that sponsors deserve. So I haven't been taking them up on their offers. However, Tarsnap was persistent and they have been very good in accepting the fact that I'm not giving them anything. They are the t-shirt sponsor this year and we have no t-shirts. That's great. That's very helpful from Tarsnap because although we don't have the expense of the t-shirts, we do have other expenses and this will go a long way to paying those expenses for 2022. Thank you. So talks are hard. Some people, they get easier the more you give them, but talks are hard. And in some ways, giving a talk online is even harder because you don't get the feedback, you don't get the, the facial expressions of the people sitting in front of you. Because I'm just sitting here alone in my living room talking to my laptop. And although I know that there are people listening based on what I see on RRC, there's no proof, you're just talking to your laptop. And when you're recording, it's even harder because you said, oh, I made that mistake. Let me just go back and correct it. And I urge people who are recording not to go back and edit things like that. It just takes up so much of your time. And although it does give a nicer product, it's too hard on you. I, th I, I think it's just too much work for you to be doing on top of giving a talk. I wanna talk about the big gaps in the conference schedule. There's a lot going on for everyone. And some people said, yeah, I'll give a talk. Their talk is accepted. And they've made the correct choice that there's too much going on and they need to concentrate on their personal life. That's the right choice. That it always the right choice. Your health, you know, both physical, mental, and social is far more important than the conference. The conference will be fine without your contribution, which would be gratefully accepted if it was given, but under the circumstances, no, it's fine. Do the stuff that you need to do. A lot of people are suffering from COVID. They're under financial stress not doing the conference talk is no big deal. Saturday is the day that we have lots, have the most gaps. So if someone wants to propose an idea, um, send me an email, we can have a boff. Um, if you just want to do a hallway track, uh, send that in. We can have up to three concurrent ones going at once. 
Um, but there's lots of spaces throughout the day for different topics. So send me an email, dan at langel.org or dvl at freebsd.org and add BSDCAN 2022 in the subject and that'll help me sort it. So in short, always do what is right for you. The project, whatever other projects you're working on, they can always wait, but you can't. Okay, that's it for me. On to the talks. I think I had a question here. I'm not sure. Looking over here, no, it was in a different channel. So that's it for now. Uh, we're going to go on to the next talk now. Thank you very much, and we'll see you later.